Hi everyone, it's Michelle and it is the 21st of December and if you watched yesterday's programme you'll know that that's not quite the case. <laughs> How are you all doing? I'm sure I will tell you all about the concert at St David's tomorrow night so when I'm back onto the normal schedule of things I will tell you all about the concert. Fingers crossed, we're still at the point now, fingers crossed that it's still going to go ahead. They keep talking about extra restrictions um, but most of them seem to be starting after Christmas so fingers crossed we still get to go to the concert and I'll let you know. Right, this isn't going to be a very long one for me, I can tell you um, that for nothing because I have got, I've got all the normal stuff, it's just I'm going to be going through it a little bit quicker than normal. So this is just a one cup of tea episode. I'm going to start with my freebie, again it's another fox and rabbit one. And this one is called the Shepherd Sampler. Now, you can find out more about this in one of Karen and Bren's episodes from their floss tube. Um, if you look there, I just love the way that Shepherd's been spelt. <laughs> it's brilliant. I'm sure I remember them saying that this is from an actual sampler. Uh, it's taken from an actual sampler that they own. And if you think back this was celebrating a thousand subscribers well goodness knows who only knows what they're on at the moment probably several several thousand and it's only been a very short space of time so that again is available on their website you just put it in your cart um, free of charge and then they will send it to you but it's a really pretty little sampler or little snippet of a sampler gorgeous strawberry border and then the house in the middle. Love it. Love the colours. <clears throat> so what have I been stitching on? I've been on the fox again. I've done a bit more on the fox. So there we go. I'm gonna have to not bother showing you this very soon, the fox, because, or certainly the fox picture, because everybody knows what it's like. Do you know what? I've not been as kind of hepped up about doing a sal all the way through for a very long time. This is a very, very special project. So, and it appears that I just left a random thread dangling, which is how I roll. Let's put that out of the way. And then, still dangling. <laughs> okay, so I've worked, let's come over this side. I've worked quite a bit more in that tail. I'm still waiting for my chalky to come, which is going to be the kind of almost like the the feather pattern inside the tail. And then at the top here, you've got a white brush top with a grey a gray pattern in. But that, that orange there is amazing. That burnt orange is really, really lovely. And I'm pleased with this now. I'm pleased with the way that it's turning out. It's looking very grey today. It is actually more blue. I find it funny how I can turn the same two lights on every night and get a slightly different tone in the room. But there we go. So that's the only stitching that I've managed to do today. Which isn't very much really. But it's progress. Every stitch is progress. So my finishes from the year previous seem to be getting really soon, um, that's not the right word, really recent. Recent and soon, two sides of the same coin. Because these are ones I've not long finished, or it feels like I've not long finished them. The first one is this one by Little Robin Designs and it's called the St Ives Sampler. And I stitched this on, looks like a 28 count actually, might be a 28 or a 30 count, with two strands of a Silks For You thread, just to get that lovely depth of colour. And I had bought a frame for this one, but I didn't like it. So I'm going to have to buy another one. So that's why she's still unframed. So yeah, Little Robin's Designs, and she's released several other little um, samplers and designs since I've 
stitch that one and her designs are really nice um the ones that she's taken from the reproduction samplers and and her own designs they're really lovely so do go and have a look over there if that's a new designer to you and then my other sampler or my other finish was nessie we are at that time kind of chronologically so this puts us at about mid-october i think early to mid-october so this is when i finished her ready to release so people could stitch her for black sample in november and um i'll always be very grateful to jacob from modern folk embroidery who messaged me about black sample in november and said did i think i had anything and i thought through my samplers my antique samplers and I was like mm, I don't think I've got anything and then I had I've always had this sampler kicking around in my mind and I thought well do you know what I'm gonna have a go I'm gonna have a go and see if I can chart her and stitch her and release her and just go through that whole process and it's worked out brilliantly it worked out brilliantly for me she's been super super popular and um, it's given me the courage to kind of to do that to, to reproduce samplers or reproduce my samplers and come up with my own designs as well so that's Nessie and if you've not seen Nessie before she is available in my Etsy store um, it's a design of my own that I came up with and Nessie Mitchell was my mum's sister who was my granny's firstborn baby who didn't survive for very long uh, I think we worked out she survived a month we had to go into a little bit of family history there and get a birth certificate and a death certificate to try and work that out so yeah she was premature but she survived about a month and I know lots of people who've stitched this have changed the name to somebody important in their family I know that um, one of the stitches has added an extra crown because um, their their person had five children um, somebody I know has changed the crowns for a couple of motifs that are really important to them. So feel free to, to sort of personalise her as you wish and whatever colour you whatever colour you fancy. So that's Nessie. So that's done. Freebies, two stitches, where I've been stitching. So we're back to the advent calendars again. Like I said, this is a one cup of tea today. So number 21, and I've had loads of people messaging me actually saying that they're definitely going to get the uh, Marks and Spencer's Advent Calendar for next year because they've been super impressed with it. So what have we got today? Wren, Ever Calm, oh, need that. Um, Global Protection Day Cream, does that mean it protects me from people? Does that mean it protects me from everybody? I need that. So well, I don't know why I'm, I don't know why I'm squinting, why am I like squinting at you so there we go Wren is it face cream or can we put it anywhere massage onto face and neck I'm sure you could put it anywhere you like but I'm going to try with my face and number 21 oh nearly knocked my little ornament over there number 21 oh <gasps> ah <laughs> Look at these! Look at these bad boys! Two buttons. One is Father Christmas carrying a wreath. Where's the camera? There we go. And the other one is a little ornament. Does it say? Because I missed the information no it doesn't say who they're by I wonder if they're just another button company or whether they're Pantini Pantini I will try and find out but aren't they amazing those are cool right I've got to f so we've got to find something we can use for our buttons I wonder if everybody's got the same I wonder if some people might have different ones which means there are more to collect. Um, so we've got to try and find something to stitch on our little circles, our little um, ovals. And we've got to find something to put our buttons on. This is excellent. 
Right, I shall see you tomorrow. Stay classy, Stitches.